Really, really, really recommend that because it saves you time and your teeth is nice and clean. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. If not, welcome back. So I did a community question and had asked you guys if you guys actually like the hygiene videos and a lot of you guys said yes. So we're gonna get into it. So we're gonna start from head to toe on my hygiene routine. And there's a lot. I'm literally surrounded by a ton of stuff that I pulled out that I use to make myself smell good and that I just use for good hygiene starting off with the hair now I have curly hair everybody knows curly hair if you have curly hair it's a lot to honestly just deal with starting off with normally what I do is on Sundays I do one times a week I use a good smelling hair mask this one is the best one that I recommend this is by Eva NYC. Um, this one's a therapy session hair mask. It's supposed to deep condition three times and soften your hair. This one is twist. This one doesn't smell as good, but it's also good smelling. I'm just really picky with things that smell good. And then this is the Jitsu um, hair mask, which I literally have like, I got it in a pack and don't mind the hair literally dangling from the bottom. But it's, this one's literally almost gone. But this one, I think it's only $8 and you get a this is a big bottle compared to these two, and this one really does smell good. And then after I deep condition my hair, I normally do an oil treatment. Um, any type of oil treatment. This one really doesn't smell that good, but this is what I use. And then I use the massager in the shower, or whether I'm using the oil by with dry hair, I massage this in. Any type of hair oil this is another one that i use um ogx this one's literally almost gone i use this i just used it today to just make my hair look a little soft coconut smells good smells delicious again if you have curly hair all these products are going to be for you then this is the defining not your mother's curl talk hair cream this one smells really good but i really prefer this one this one's really expensive this one's like 22 dollars and if you have a lot of hair it's gonna go quick so i alternate between these two also when i wash my hair i use these two shampoo and conditioners and these are seriously almost gone honestly i probably need to buy a new one these are the ones that i use the most i honestly get a lot of samples from like different brands that i just come in a sephora package or something and i try those out so anyone that smells good honestly is i use but i also be careful what they have in them because i have curly hair like no sulfates this is i also use in the shower when i'm just brushing my hair this is really good to distribute the product it's just a wide tooth comb i actually have two of these that is all i do with my hair now we're gonna go to i guess the face so for the face i do a lot honestly i just use really good products um for my face if we're going to talk about like acne i just i don't get it a lot i do have so I, this is my caddy that i have in my bathroom i have a lot of face wash it's actually crazy this is de la rose Pousset one um that i use um honestly i started using a lot more i also was alternating between this one this is a sample that i got in a gift it is this one this is the one that i use too but most likely i use this one and then if anything if i have really bad acne or I really want to like dry my face out honestly I use panoxyl and the only reason I say dry my face is because when you have acne I like to literally distribute this all over my face and let it sit there and dry it off and then by the next morning it dried all my pimples off and this works wonders if you could tell I literally squeeze every drop off and there's still some in here I open the cap and I'll squeeze it out I'll cut this off and get some out too because this is like ten dollars but it really works if you have sensitive skin i do recommend getting the five percent this is the ten percent i think it's four percent actually that they sell whatever lowest one that they have I, I recommend getting that one if you guys have really sensitive skin because this does dry your skin out like my skin feels so tight after i use this so recommend doing that also weekly i go in with this kiehl's mask um either an eye mask a lip mask i also will go in with a no strip um any kind really but that also also helps with keeping up with the acne and opening up my pores to get all the bacteria out once I'm done washing my face I definitely use my own face towel this is mine I got it from Ikea it's pink it has a little um, little tab that I can hang in the bathroom which I don't I just don't on top of my thing oh here's the tab right here you could just hang it on to like just dry um i wash this weekly um, and I wash it with my actual body towel and I don't 
I only pat dry, I'm not going to use it on my face now, but I only pat dry, I don't rub it in. I don't know how people just like, you know, I can't. I pat dry it um, to make sure. Another thing that I do when I'm washing my face, I'll use these sponges to just exfoliate, just a gentle exfoliate. If I don't have any of these, I use my little reusable one and wash it and I soak it or boil it to make sure that all the bacteria is literally gone because... That's one thing that I do recommend. That is what I do for my face. Now going on to my teeth, I definitely do a little bit much. I have a veneer in because I cracked my tooth when I was a child. That tooth literally stays its color, so I have to keep up with my teeth whitening. I don't have the box, but this is the one that I use. It's by it's by Philips Zoom, and this one's literally only, like almost gone. And I have my own little trays to do it in, and I leave this on for 30 minutes, and I try to do it weekly, but honestly, it's really hard. That normally keeps my teeth nice and shiny, and what also helps it is the toothpaste. I have a lot. So I have um, Sentinel, and I have very sensitive teeth, but this is the white one this one's literally almost gone as you guys can tell there's probably nothing in here um another one that i use the cap is like broken is the optic white absolutely love this one this one's almost gone too this one is the colgate plaque pro release i've been trying to use this one and then this one is extra whitening i brought this for travel but i've been liking this one of the sensodyne um so anything with like whitening i also was or I also do alternate between these normally. Morning and night, I would use this because I do have sensitive teeth, but this one really does whiten my teeth, so I would like take turns between these two. I use a regular toothbrush. This is my toothbrush. I use a regular toothbrush. I, I used to have a mechanical one, but honestly, I just felt like it wasn't getting in my teeth as much as I can with this one, so I'm old-fashioned. I use this one, and then I go in with a tongue scraper. If you don't have a tongue scraper, you need one because I'm telling you, they make a difference. Then I go in with my water flosser and this gets everything. I'm so lazy. I don't have time to be flossing. It just, I do have the time. I just don't want to. Don't prefer it. The water flosser got you. This was like maybe $40 on Amazon. Really, really, really recommend that because it saves you time and your teeth is nice and clean. Another thing that I recommend for girls that have either the whitening trays or even if you have retainers because I have braces on so I have retainers and I have the whitening trays. These you just put in water in a cup and put your dentures or anything you have that are trays in the water and it cleans it up. This is so much better than just brushing them with toothpaste because it actually smells so much better if you don't have these i really recommend them it does make a difference okay now going on to body wise which literally is my favorite part of the whole shower if you don't have this i actually do recommend this this is a dove antibacterial care it eliminates 99 percent of bacteria and this has my skin feeling very very clean squeaky clean sometimes i do use a washcloth but i also do use this too and i scrub my body with this and not once but twice and then i also would use a back scrubber to make sure i get my back properly get all the bacteria and all the dirt and everything off of my body and then afterwards i go in with athena club cloud shaving cream obsessed with the shaving cream this smells so good so good so i would go in with this afterwards and then i would also use my athena razor this one is the best one i'm honestly obsessed with the color too honestly used to just use a bar of soap to shave until i realized it actually does affect your skin because there's no moisture you're basically almost dry shaving this does make a difference this actually does also moisturize my skin a little bit so the combo of honestly all three of these is a must and then after i get out the shower what i sometimes do not always but what i sometimes do because i do tend to forget i use baby oil right off with water literally sopping off my body and i pour this on it literally locks the moisture in my skin that would be baby soft for like days i swear lather your body in it right when you open the curtain and you don't even put a towel on just lather your body in that and then you're gonna want to go in with some nice smelling lotions i have a few of them that honestly smells like so good i've been using this one Oh my gosh, now I see what the hype was on TikTok. This is so good. I'm going to get their new ones out too, but this one, delicious. You smell like a cupcake. This one, I actually got at TJ Maxx, apricot. These two, really, really good, but I really recommend this one or any of them, but this one's really smelling. This one's the vanilla cashmere. Another one I like is the, it's the Bath & Body Works, although it doesn't really last on your body as long. And then this one I tried. This is very, very lightweight. I recommend this if you're like going to the beach and like... You know, you don't like you don't want nothing crazy thick on your body, or if you don't like thick lotion at all. This is Seaweed Bath Co. Melton Water Lotion. It literally smells like coconut. And when I tell you this is watery, like it's so 
thin. So if you guys don't like lotion, you could try this and it honestly kind of feels like an oil on your skin. So also for body, deodorant is another thing we use. I use this one too. This one I actually was testing out. The Dove Advanced Care, this one's really good. I use men's deodorant. Men's deodorant smells stronger. And I'm not a sweaty girl, but I do sweat, especially in summer. What person doesn't really sweat? And this saves me. This one, it's also aluminum free, but honestly, this also did give me a little bit of a cyst problem. So be careful with this. I also alternate and I don't put as much deodorant as I normally used to. One swatch and I'm normally good for the day. So after all of that, once you're done after shower and everything, you're going to want to smell clean. You're gonna want to at least smell. These are the perfumes and body sprays and everything that I use. I have a literally a ton. I always would recommend these. These actually are very long lasting. This one was $24. They're kind of expensive when you can get a bunch of these probably on Bath and Body Works, but these don't last as long as these, which is why they're probably more expensive. If you want to go for high-end perfumes, I would always recommend Valentino for a strong scent if you're going out. Burberry, Her, any one of their lines, really good. A little lighter scent. If you want something even lighter, the Ariana Grande pink one. I don't like the white one personally. This one, and this one's my signature scent. This one by Kylie Jenner. I don't know why people are hating on this because this smells amazing. And if you guys haven't tried it, you gotta hop on this. For the price of this, $85 is not bad. And then for down there care, what I normally do is I normally have a whole routine for that. Um, which I can probably make another video if you guys want to see that. But normally I do shave. I do use the regular this one to shave and I also do use a separate razor to shave down there and then on top of that you have to fully make sure it's dry before you put on any type of underwear because it's into the trap and the smell and it's disgusting so I learned to make sure you fully dry off your area and then what I do personally you don't have to do this but I hate the feeling of underwear in general I use a panty liner I keep a ton in my bag so i hope you guys liked the video i had really fun talking about what i do and my routines if you guys have any other advice of hygiene care or smelling good you guys can definitely leave it down below because i'm always open to know more things about personal care if you guys aren't subscribed go ahead and subscribe like that like button if you guys like this video and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys bye